Hello, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 19 of this video series. So before proceeding, please watch part 17 in order to understand what is partial view in an ASP.NET MVC application. Okay, and how can you render it using html.partial, html.renderpartial and html.renderaction. Okay, so now in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the difference between html.partial and html.renderpartial. So this is very important question and you can say this is very popular question. It is asked in every interview. So usually people get uh, confused about this. Okay, so it is very important to understand the difference between these two. Okay, so here I have mentioned some differences uh, between html.partial and html.renderpartial okay so we will verify uh, each differences practically okay so let's come to the html.partial okay so the first difference is the syntax difference okay so you can start it with the add rate symbol and uh, you can use html.partial and inside this you can pass the partial view name and the optional parameter you can pass uh, either object model or uh, you can pass the view data okay so let's try it so you can use the HTML symbol HTML dot partial okay now you can use the partial view name so just use your partial view name so I'm I already have created this partial view one okay so it's going to return me this HTML uh, I am in it partial one okay so write it here partial one okay now let's run this so here you go so the second difference is that uh, uh, it renders the partial view as an HTML encoded string so let's check it whether uh, what is the return type of it so just okay so here you can see it return types is MVC HTML string okay and it renders the specified partial view as an HTML encoded string so it's true so it's going to return the HTML string okay and the third difference is that uh, this method result can be stored in a variable since it return, uh, returns uh, string type value okay so let's check uh, whether I can store it into the variable or not okay so I'm just trying to store it uh, storing it into the variable so put a add the red sign and into the bracket just declare a string let's say my partial view string okay so I'm going to store this partial view so just copy this and put a semicolon here okay so here uh, it's uh, giving me an error message like uh, cannot implicitly convert type system wave dot mvc dot mvc html to a string so you just need to convert into the string so dot uh, you can see the html the two html string okay so here I got this and now I will just print it just uh, below this so just use add the red symbol and my partial view string just copy this and paste it here and put it into the uh, anything like h4 okay now you can clearly see if it is returning the string then you can see the string okay 
so let's check the response let's reload it so here you go yes you can store it into the string so I have just printed the string here so y here you can see the partial view div jumpertron and you can see class div so the content is rendered as a, uh, as a string HTML encoded string okay so here we proved and it is simple to use and no need to create any action obviously uh, by using this uh, this HTML dot partial and we are just passing the partial view name so this is very simple okay so now let's move to the HTML dot render partial so uh, the first difference is the syntax difference you can see uh, you just start with the add thread symbol and into braces you just need to write the HTML dot render partial okay so let's try to uh, use this just I'm going to delete it okay just try to use the HTML partial directly like uh, render partial okay so can you use this just pass the partial view name partial one okay so you can see cannot implicitly convert type white to object so it means it's going to return the void means it's not going to return anything okay so you just need to so there is a if you go to the point C then there is written this method returns void so hence it is proved so you can also check its return type here so it's returning uh, it's returning nothing means it's it returning void okay so you can see the definition renders the specified partial view by using the specified HTML helper okay so here it's not going to return anything so we can't write uh, write anything here also so if you if you want to put into the variable then uh, or a, a it's not a, it is not a, a string value okay so you just need to write into the braces okay so I hope the uh, syntax is okay control KC okay now move to the second difference uh, in the point B uh, this method result will be directly written to the HTML response stream means it uses the same text writer object as used in the current web page template so here it's going to uh, write uh, write my result directly to the HTTP response stream obviously it's not going to return anything instead it's writing directly to the response stream okay so hence it is proof okay so also you can't store this into the variable suppose if you want to store this string like a equals and if you see the extension method it don't it does not have any any extension method okay so just remove this and try to reload this okay so here you go so now use both control K U okay control K D okay now I'm going to reload this so one data will come from the HTML dot partial and one from HTML dot render partial so here is the main difference so I'm going to recall each differences again so you can see the syntax difference first okay and uh, the second difference is it's uh, no it's going to return me the string and I can store this string into some 
uh, is uh, string okay and uh, here I uh, it's not going to return me anything okay so this is the second difference and here it is writing the response uh, directly to the HTML response uh, HTML response string okay so you can see so here you can see uh, the syntax the render partial as an HTML encoded string it's okay and this uh, method uh, can be stored in a variable okay we did that and uh, here the syntax is uh, you can see the syntax difference and in part B it directly written to the HTML response stream okay and uh, it's going to return the void okay and now come to uh, the main point uh, which one is f f faster okay so HTML dot render partial is the faster than the HTML dot partial method because it's going and the result is uh, directly written to the response stream which make it fast okay so that's all the difference between HTML dot render partial and HTML dot partial so hope you understand the difference between these two okay so I am done okay so if you like my video uh, then give us a thumbs up and if you have any problem then please comment and share my video and help your friend thank you very much have a great day